Hi, I'd like to show you how we're achieving the uh, animation effects in this file. So first, let me show you what we're doing. We're going to move uh, among these layouts, uh, but we're going to do so with these buttons over here, and uh, the transitions are going to be animated, which isn't something that's built into FileMaker 13 for layouts, but we've used the slide panel to kind of fake it. So here it goes. Let's go over to Plants, and you can see that the new menu slides over, and then we uh, draw Plants, and if we go back home, you'll see it slides the other way. So if we go to plants and then to balls, it moves over. And if we go from balls back to plants and then back again, we're moving in the correct direction depending on where uh, a layout is in this layout order here, um, which is kind of cool. The other thing to take a look at is uh, watch these objects here if we're over on plants. Now we come home, we'll see the logo appears first, and then we draw this stuff. So um, it's a nice effect and uh, can make solutions look really professional. But uh, let's talk about how we do it, because it's got a cool trick that you might be able to use in other animations also. So the main idea here is that on any one layout like this, let me just make this a little bit bigger, we have this uh, area over here which is a slide panel. So if I double click here, you'll see that we have a slide control set up, and that we're on the first of two slide controls, and the second one is like this. And this just looks like, and there's some notes here, this looks like your other layouts. So what happens when we actually go from uh, layout to layout is that we first move from this slide control to this one and we animate that transition. That's what brings these guys over. They kind of slide over to the left. And then we simply arrive at the new layout. And let's say we were going to plants. The layout we arrive at looks like this. It's panel one of four. We have four layouts on these other ones. So then we arrive here and then we simply navigate over to number three, this one, and draw this. We've got some nice notes here about how to set this up. And basically the idea is that we've got a slide panel on either side. When we need to go to the right, we use this one. When we need to go to the left, we use this one. And then we have this one other layout to the left because the menu looks different. You know, it's got this blue background. So we want, when we go to the left, we want, uh, from a regular layout, we want to use it. Um, so how do, the, uh, how do the scripts and stuff work? Well, there's a really neat script. So let's go from home over to plants and take a look at that. So we're gonna um, put on the script debugger. And when you fire this off, we're basically just passing in a parameter of plants into the script go to layout name. Um, but there's some neat stuff going on here. So watch what's happening. First, we have this if from timer. Let's ignore that for now and just come back in here. Basically, we just set the layout name, check for some errors right here. Then if, if the layout name is the same layout we're on, we're gonna kind of just go to the correct slide control and abort. But if it's not, we're gonna go to one of these objects, we're gonna do the animation, right? We're gonna slide over to one of the other objects, slide over the other object here. So let's just run it through. Let's go through here. So we're not going to home. Uh, sorry, we're on home, so we're gonna go over to the right. So we go one panel to the right, right? So that's our animation effect. And then what do we do? We install an on timer to run the same script again with front timer. And this is the way to get the animations to look nice because you can't really do them all in one script. So if we keep going, you'll see, boom, it calls the same script again. Now the parameter is from timer. So now all we're gonna do is go to the layout that we threw up into a global variable. That's got its own on object enter script to make sure it goes to the center panel. Remember we have these panels on either side we just use for animation. Use the center panel and then we're done. So it's that on timer that kind of lets you smooth out FileMaker's animations. Um, a couple other little things here. I think obviously we, we would prefer for this to be native. Um, I don't like necessarily working on layouts where I have um, these additional slide controls hanging out on either side. But FileMaker 13 is pretty cool in that when I land on a layout, even though I know I'm now on one of its many slide controls, when I drop in a layout, I stay on that panel. So I stay on panel three. So it's actually pretty easy to kind of work in here with all this stuff staying out of your way, um, which is kind of cool. Um, the other thing I'll mention is that, and this is a, again in the notes, is that when you're configuring some of these other panels, um, you just kind of want what's common among all layouts to be here. And while we want the images here, they don't necessarily need to work. So these don't need to be working buttons. You just want to have the image of whatever's common among all your layouts kind of on these layout four and layout one over here. Um, and then finally, the size of this, this is kind of extra off-screen panel. Here's our window edge. Remember this feature from FileMaker, um, sorry, from FileMaker 13. There's our window edge. And um, the size of this slide panel off to the right does matter in the animation. And I, 
if it were not here at all, the only thing we'd an you'd see animate was kind of this little rectangle. But having this over to the side not only gives us a place for notes, but it kind of makes the animation take up a little more screen, screen time. And I kind of like that. So you can think of it as a, as a way to delay the animation, um, which is pretty nice. And then the only other tip I'll leave you with is to make sure that any objects like this that are on slide panels that are big are locked. Because it's really easy to accidentally nudge this baby you know, one pixel out of the way um, in either direction and um, to kind of confuse yourself. So um, this is an unlocked example file. I hope you guys will use this in your own solutions uh, if you find it interesting. I think it's probably most useful for replicating that behavior on iOS where you kind of slide to the right to see the details of something. But you could obviously use it for system-wide navigation kind of like we're doing here. I uh, hope it helps. Thanks.